Uncharted is the newest video game based movie and I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't think I would ever live to see the day where we would actually see an Uncharted movie. But here we are. So is this film worth a watch? Well, I was lucky enough to see this film early, so I'm gonna give you my quick thoughts right now. Hey guys, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and I wanna say thank you so much for being here, clicking on this video. I'm sending a ton of positive vibes your way. Today I'm gonna to give you my honest, no BS, non-spoiler review for Uncharted and let you know if it's worth a watch today. If you wanna support the channel, then definitely hit like and subscribe, but if you really wanna support the channel and join an exclusive community, then go follow me on Patreon. Link is down below. As well as the link to my partners at Movie Scene Canada, make sure you check them out as well. So. We have Uncharted from director Ruben Fleischer, and you know him from such films as Venom, both Zombieland films, 30 Minutes or Less, and Gangster Squad. And the film stars Tom Holland, Antonio Banderas, Mark Wahlberg, Tati Gabriel, and Sophia Ali, and it's about Nathan Drake and Sully searching for the lost pirate's gold. That's all you really need to know about the plot. But is this movie worth a watch today? If you're a fan of the games, I'm gonna say yes. Now, this movie is nothing groundbreaking. And yes, I'll be honest that there are many parts in this movie I found to be quite uneven and rather predictable. But I'm a fan of Indiana Jones, I'm a fan of Mission Impossible, and I'm a fan of National Treasure. So because I am a fan of those movies, I did have a good time with Uncharted. And the number one reason why is because of the adventure. I found this movie to be exciting. The set pieces really stole the show. And again, I will not spoil this movie and I haven't seen all the trailers for this movie yet. So I don't even know if the climax is even in the trailer. So I won't spoil it just in case, but I was on the edge of my seat. It was so exciting. I thought it was well executed. I thought it was very inventive what they were doing. This movie ends on a really high note. It stuck the landing, and fans of the games will recognize a lot of the elements that made those games successful. There are stealth missions where Nathan Drake has to infiltrate the auction to get that prized artifact. You see it here too. It feels very Mission Impossible. There's a lot of globe trotting, just like Indiana Jones where you see the map and you see this little plane go from city to city, country to country. It's very 1930s serial adventure kind of stuff. You see him down in the tomb, solving puzzles, putting in keys, there's booby traps, he's walking around with a torch, trying to look at things on the wall, and he's looking at his his artifact book and he's like oh yeah see they were down here the treasure map leads to here I love all that stuff I find that stuff just so much fun like the mummy for example right even though those movies aren't particularly great they're a lot of fun because of those reasons there's a lot of fun inventive hand-to-hand -hand combat you see Nathan Drake jumping from ledge to ledge it's all here and of course you get a ton of treasure as well you do hear the uncharted theme once again these are just things that are gonna please the fan base they pleased me and I think that the action set pieces are really the highlights of this movie and we are in these action set pieces with Nathan Drake and Sully, played by Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. I really think that their chemistry really elevates this movie. And yes, when I saw Tom Holland as Nathan Drake, I'm like, really, is he too young? But throughout the rest of the movie, he really did win me over. And as a first mission kind of movie, I think he really did well in the part. And I hope he actually grows into this role. And yes, that means that I do wanna see more Uncharted movies. But Mark Wahlberg really impressed me as well. And he kind of has that like grizzled old timer type of feel and really showing Nathan Drake the ropes. I thought their chemistry was great. I would love to see them more in more Uncharted sequels. So those two characters are really great and the action set pieces and the spectacle and everything that made the games fun is here. Unfortunately though, everything else is just meh, it's okay. It's okay. Now, I knew exactly what kind of film I was going to get right as soon as you see the flashback with young Nathan Drake and his brother in the orphanage. And as soon as they were talking about like, you know what, this ring means so much to me and I never go anywhere without it. So I'm gonna give it to you so that we never forget each other. And I'm like, I know exactly what I'm gonna get with this movie because that felt very cheesy and ham-fisted. Again, nothing terrible. You know, I wasn't cringing, but I'm like, okay, this movie's gonna be very bare bones basic paint by numbers I know exactly what I'm gonna get and this is what I got we got a villain played by Antonio Banderas who really was just a placeholder with no stakes no tension no threat he's just there because we need an opposing force so Antonio Banderas yes we got the Spaniard in there he could have been fun but I felt like he was really wasted potential and because of that there is no drama I really do think that there's more drama between the characters in the games than in the movie and of course we get a love interest, but again, 
you see some flirtation here and there you get some double crosses right like you know you're gonna get some double crosses in this movie and none of them are surprising really you can see them coming from a mile away and the story overall is very predictable with some moments where I'm even questioning the logic of the movie not the physics of the movie because of course you have Nathan Drake jumping from thing to thing to thing that is kind of fine right like this is a movie based on a video game but even still like some of the motivations of the characters and some things where I'm like wait a minute hold on a second you're telling me that that is gonna happen like that okay what do I know let's just keep going so again if you're really looking for realism and for really deep complex characters with no plot holes in the story then Uncharted is definitely not the movie for you. Because I gotta be honest, this movie is very standard. However, as a fan of those movies I listed earlier, Indiana Jones, Mission Impossible, National Treasure, The Mummy, this movie has a lot of those fun elements. The spectacle is really there and the great performances between Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland, the chemistry I should say, it really elevates it. So for an overall rating, I'm giving it a three out of five. And I think that if you don't like adventure movies, then I don't think that this movie will really have anything for you in it because again, there's no real drama. There's no real gravitas. This is just kind of a, I don't wanna say a love letter to Uncharted fans. I think this is more like a, hey, we know that you like this game. So here's a little movie to add as a complimentary piece to your love of this franchise. It's not great. It's not bad, but I was mildly entertained throughout the entire thing, but it ended with a really high note. So I gotta give the movie props for that. Anyways guys, now you know my thoughts on Uncharted. What are yours? I would love to know them down in the comment section down below. And I'd love to know your thoughts on the Uncharted games. I haven't played the first one. I've played through the second one many times. I haven't finished the third, but I have played the fourth. So what are your thoughts on the games? Leave them down below in the comment section down below. And again guys, Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video and you want to see more videos just like it, then definitely hit like and subscribe. Again, really appreciate the support, but if you really want to join the exclusive community on Patreon, then the link is down below as well. You can join me along with these wonderful people right here. And be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Letterboxd at BrandoCritic as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.